Hi friends, in this video we will see how to use boundary extractor. So I am using dummy sampler here, dummy request which we, which even not sent to the local host as well, it's a dummy request and is the temporary response what I am using for that uh, uh, boundary extractor example. So to add boundary extractor, that will be in post processor, right click on the desired sampler where you want to add it, add post processor boundary extractor so the boundary extractor we need to give a name so i'm giving uh demo boundary as my variable name demo boundary as my variable name i'm giving the its name the sampler name and the bond uh, variable name sampler name is different between boundary name uh, variable name so this is my variable name so this is a variable name which i need to use throughout my script so this is for our our user convenient to just to understand what is the sample we are using and the purpose of the sample we are using it okay so now i want to capture the value boundary extractor so i will take the left side left side uh, unix string till this uh, from the response so this is my left boundary don't forget to put the space if you have any space here we have a, I have a space here, so I have a using space. From then, I'm taking the space and example here. If you leave the, if you remove the space, Jmeter will capture the space as well into the value. So I'm taking the first value. First value. If I don't found, I need to, uh, it need to capture. It will initialize the value with the NA. Now uh, we'll run it. So we'll add a debug sample to see what value it will capture. Run it. So in my debug sampler, if you go to the request uh, tables, so this is a value I captured. Boundary extractor. So if you if you copy that, we don't have we don't have a space here. So if you remove a space in the example, if you remove the space in your example, debug sampler response body. If you see now, you will have a space here. Now you will have a space here. So we'll add two uh, duplicate it. We'll add two variables demo one with the space and without space. We'll see the value how it comes. We got two capture values. The first the second one don't have don't have the space, the first one has a space. So even the space matters in the capturing a value. So the left boundary should be in a unique value. If you are using multiple, uh, I mean, if it is not unique, the left boundary is not unique, then you need to extend your left boundary and even your right boundary till it makes a unique value. Unique value. If if something is changing in between your uniqueness, then you need to go for regular expression. We need to use our boundary extractor only when we are sure that our left boundary and right boundary will not change. If it is changing, then we need to switch for another extractor like regular expression or uh, XPath or JSON or uh, CSS, different kinds of uh, post processors to, uh, to get our uh, uh, captured value. As per our requirement, so which suit for us? If, if, if we were trying to capture the value with the uh, input variables, then we can use the CSS extractor. CSS uh, extractor. If you are using with uh, JSON, then we JSON is a good JSON extractor is the right way to capture the JSON response. If you are if the response is in XML, then using the XML extractor is the right uh, extractor to pull your responses. Your value capture the value. Uh, if if it, uh, for universal we can use the regular expression extractor, but even in regular expression extractor, uh, we need to be more conscious while writing our regular expression. Uh, thanks for listening this sense.